One of my favourite passages in the Bible is John chapter 6. It starts with that famous story of the feeding of the 5,000 where the small boy with the loaves and the fishes gives what he has to Jesus. Jesus takes it, blesses it, transforms it, shares it. Everyone is fed. What you may not remember is what happens next because next day everybody comes back. I mean, who wouldn't? They've had a free lunch one day, they want it the next day. Only this time Jesus says to them, I am the bread. And that's the great message of the worship and sacraments of the church, uh, that Jesus is the bread of life, uh, that when we share in the sacraments of the church, we are receiving and sharing in the transforming presence of Jesus himself, who is basic to our life, just like bread. A sacrament is the, the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. That phrase has been around for a long time, but I think it really does work. The outward and visible sign of something that's going on inside, the inward and spiritual grace. And in a sense, you could say that uh, Jesus is the ultimate sacrament because he's the sacrament of God. You know, in, we see in Jesus the outward and visible expression of the presence and the love and the reality of God. But the two big sacraments are, of course, the Eucharist, Holy Communion, and baptism, and those are the two that the church has always established. There are others, uh, but those two are the ones that Jesus gave us, and they're both, as I say, outward and visible ways, um, through the particulars of bread and wine or water of baptism. They're the ways that we actually encounter God in very special ways. It's always been really important to me, the, the, the sacramental side uh, of life and my own life as a Christian. I'm bringing my life, my concerns, the people I love, the the things no one else knows about, you know, I'm bringing all of that to God uh, and I'm taking away in exchange his life uh, in bread and wine. It's an extraordinary exchange that should go on and, and life-giving to me and then I go out and try to live that life, that life of Jesus. When I was um, doing the required reading prior to my selection for training, I remember one of the things I read which really hit me and was a mystery to me at the time, was that a priest is called to be a living sacrament and I understand a sacrament to be a visible um, thing around an invisible grace so I couldn't quite get my head around that when I was thinking about my calling and wondering if uh, others would perceive it since I've been priested that has become a very real thing for me there is something about calling down the Holy Spirit upon elements and then administering those elements to God's gathered people, which has allowed me to really live into that living sacrament identity, to be a liminal, uh, at a liminal point, to be absolutely on the border between heaven and earth as people come forward to receive the body of Christ, to have handled those holy things, is an enormous privilege and not one that I had fully anticipated, um, certainly not the impact it would have on me at a very deep level. Yeah.